everyone. It's white folks again. So I was talking to y'all last time about this Bofang carburetor, the jets it needs. Uh, that was kind of uh, part one. So with this thing, I jetted it. It started out around 70. I'm assuming it looked like a 70. And I went up to 80, 85, and 90 thinking I was lean, wasn't getting enough power, you know, because my idle wasn't, it was fine. It wasn't giving me any problems. So I figured if it's idling fine, it's, you know, maybe I'm not got enough fuel on the top end. So I screwed around with it and I went down from a 70 to a 65. I went leaner, richer, got really uh, no results with it. So this is one of the 100 CC the actual is like 78 or 79 CC motors. And what I found, I went back to the, the uh, I even went to an NT carburetor on it just to see what that would do. One of the older styles, because usually you don't have to adjust or, or reject those things. I had never had to on the 66 on the uh, older types. But what I ended up doing, I checked the magneto magnet. I was thinking maybe it was weak, but it's nice and strong. So we're getting a good spark. Spark is good. Uh, so I said to hell with it and I took the exhaust off. The exhaust pipe on these bikes is the same exhaust pretty much like you find on the 66 and it's kind of restrictive anyway you know for one of those ones compared to like a an expansion chamber which you'd find on a on a two-stroke supercross or something so i took the exhaust all the way off and it started idling high and it was running lean <laughs> so what i figured to be was the problem was this exhaust is holding it back too much you can see there I popped the cap off the end and it's nice and loud now and with a 70 jet at 1,000 feet elevation in Kentucky here it's 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 lean and it's idling high so I'm gonna get back to the jetting but just note that uh, the exhaust can play a big part in your performance and if you're idling okay and it's not idling too high and you don't have it too rich check the exhaust take the exhaust off of that thing see what that does could make a big difference in how it runs it has in mind I'm going to maybe find a better exhaust for this thing when I sell it to somebody, but right now it's it's loud and everybody will hear you coming, so I guess that's safe. Uh, but yeah, from here I'm going to move up on a bigger jet and we're going to see what goes from there, but good luck everyone.